Good morning, everyone. It's Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm over here at Arroyo's Edge in the Red Point Village um, by TriPoint Homes. These opened up about a month ago or so, and they were doing a bunch of pre-sale during the spring and this, or in like June timeframe. I have a client that purchased a home in this community. We close next month. He actually purchased this floor plan, which is the plan two. Now there are four different elevation types. This one has the more asymmetrical roof line where some of them are more straight. The starting price on this one is at 618K. Now that could change depending on when you watch this video, it could be more or less. So the plan two has 2126 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two car garage. And the HOA here is only $55 a month for Summerlin West. There is only one HOA, which is awesome, and this is not a gated community. So this is the plan two. Now the plan two comes two different ways downstairs. You have the option of the den or this being a bedroom. My clients, when they bought this house, since it was already specced out, came as a bedroom, which is nice because then you're going to have a bedroom and a full bathroom right here. I like that aspect. Yes, it's nice to have this open. It makes the home feel open, but it's also nice to have a bedroom downstairs. So this is, this is how it is. Now, in this community, they have four spec homes to purchase. And a spec home has already been, all options and upgrades have been selected. They will close October, November, and December of this year. And they also have four homes, four dirt lots where you can pick your upgrades. Now, all structural options have already been selected because that's what TriPoint does so they can get a head start of the permits and ordering the materials. So all structural options will be ordered so sometimes it'll come with that as a bedroom. Sometimes it will not have a bedroom. I like this plan too, because as you walk in the door, let's come back. And they have this nice deep closet that goes all the way back. As you walk in, you have the beautiful views. Now this is on the Arroyo. They do have a lot 32 that's on the Arroyo. Very nice. It's going to be closing in October. And then you have this extremely extra large um, island. It's amazing that they use this type of quartz. <laughs> this is more of a lower end quartz with the upgraded flat panel cabinets. And then decided to do a big sink, but divided. This is a GE profile appliances. Now, when you buy new construction, um, if you buy from the ground up, you go to the design center and you get to pick different uh, appliance packages. I like that they did the two-tone cabinets here, the navy and the island, and then the nice, beautiful gray flat panel. And the beautiful backsplash is nice as well. Then you have the pantry, and this is custom right here. Normally would not look like that. And then the kitchen uh, refrigerator does not come with the house. So when you buy from ground up, all new construction homes come with carpeting throughout, except for in the wet areas, your kitchen, bathroom, and laundry room. Now, if it were me, I would spend the extra money and upgrade my flooring throughout. And if I had to have carpets, I'd only keep it in the bedrooms. We live in the desert. Nobody likes carpet here. And if you don't have carpet, you could just put area rugs and you can change out the area rugs from time to time. That's what I do. I don't like having any carpet in my house. Can't go out in the backyard. So let's see what other options. So my client got this one and they have this one as the bedroom. And then also up here, I'll show you. This one in their house is a loft, an actual loft. It's open, but they utilize this as a bedroom and but made it look like you can use it as a loft. So this has three bedrooms upstairs and a bedroom downstairs. 
I lied. The downstairs is just a den right now in this model. So then you have the primary. We'll go on the balcony in a minute. Hmm, that's a nice, actually good space toilet area. And then this is the spa shower. Love the vertical stack tiles. It's on point and it looks like a navy color. I like the transition between the dark to the light with all the black matte fixtures. This is beautiful. This is up my, this is my style. And then the cool thing with this one is the laundry room. No, not this one. Maybe it was plan three. It's a good size closet. So this is an arroyo, and an arroyo is mainly the natural habitat, but they're going to probably have walking path. And right in front of us is Kings Canyon by TriPoint Homes and Overlook by TriPoint Homes. They are going to have another TriPoint community, which are going to be townhomes um, behind um, to the north of this community. So this has beautiful strip views, and my client his house is on this arroyo um, a few houses down from here and he has great views of the strip and the nice thing is is there's going to be no houses behind him so it's a really good good location okay so then you have your laundry room here, and obviously these cabinets are additional, and the appliances do not come with the home. Your smart panel right here, and this blue, I don't like this wallpaper, it feels weird. And this tile is interesting with your builder grade tub shower insert. Um, the double vanity with the upgraded countertops. I don't like this wallpaper, it makes me dizzy. And then the nice bedroom. Love that mountain. So to surmise, I'm over here at Arroyo's Edge by TriPoint Homes in the Red Point Village. This is plan two at 2126 square feet. You can have three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and two car garage. So this can be converted into a loft or stay as a bedroom. And then this right here can be converted into a bedroom or stay as a open den area. If you're thinking about buying new construction in the Las Vegas area, I am your new home sales expert. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin. You can give me a call at 702-370-5112. So this, um, this is a new thing that they started, which is a dog washing station. They had it specked out for a lot of homes, but a lot of people didn't like it. So they still left the plumbing in there and it has the tankless water heater, and this obviously is an upgrade, which is the water softener. And I'm sure the epoxy flooring as well is an upgrade. Anyway, folks, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video tour. Peace out, and see you on the next one.